Like if you had said, hey, we got a case, there's this guy, he got really drunk, he groped some people, he attacked someone, then he yelled about how much his dad is worth, draw him. I could have nailed it on the first try what that guy was gonna look like, down to the hat. Um, he looked exactly like the sort of guy that would do exactly that. And um, it does have a happy ending though. I mean, oh. like on the plane, I mean. Like, I always thought the best thing that could happen to you on a plane is, hey, uh, we, we have a, a spot open in first class if you'd like to move up. Nope, the people watching that guy get duct taped were happier than any first class upgrade will ever make anyone on a plane. Well, it, it <laughs> they is, loved it. It's important that you brought up the seat placement for this lunatic because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he kept talking to me like, do you know who my parents are? And I'm so f important and rich. And I decided to take Frontier Airlines mm -hmm. <laughs> and far back. sit in the back of the plane. I don't know, maybe he's a man of the people. So here's the deal, this continues while we're on the ground. I'm gonna have to pull back to the gate. Everybody's gonna have to get off. We're gonna have to get security involved. Oh, and it's vacation that's gonna be ruined. So you folks, whatever that airdrop thing is, quit sending naked pictures, let's get yourself to Cabo. What you just heard was a Southwest pilot literally threatening to turn the plane around midair because unruly passengers did not want to stop sending nudes through airdrop. It's a long flight, you know. What happened forward. to us? Mm -hmm. You're on the plane with the people that you are sending unsolicited nudes to. Yeah, well, I think to them, that's the advantage. Sending unsolicited nudes to a person where you can't see their response is good. That'll get you going a little bit. But the idea that you're making someone really uncomfortable nearby, I bet that's like forbidden fruit for them. <sighs> Rate my 29 hour flight to Berlin. Yeah, that, that was bad, that's tough. So people are mad at him. People are mad at him. So this has now caused a heated debate, it's hot. Uh, many commenters do sympathize with him and how could you not? How could you not? Honestly, the sound of children crying is a very difficult sound to deal with. Like mm -hmm. I have young nieces and when one of them is like inconsolable, just cry. It drives me crazy because it's like, I want, like they're upset. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's just a terrible sound. Like you, you it sounds like they're in distress and you wanna make it stop. Yeah, and well, maybe also, you don't have a closet that you could put them in <laughs> like a soundproof door. 